This four-part Kyrgyzstan video series is brought to you by Squarespace. That was terrifying. Yeah, was, uh, Holy was shit. It? <laughs> Dude, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Continuing our exploration of Kyrgyzstan, we knew we had to try and live the nomadic way. After hitting the market up with Chip, the next day we decided to pay his uncle and auntie a visit in the mountains south of the beautiful Isikul Lake, around the Kunur Olon village by the Ortotor mountain. We were told that land here outside of the big cities can't really be privately owned. So people can set up their yurts in the non-winter months as a means of making a living, mostly in agricultural livestock. People may think that nomads are a thing of the past, but the practice here is still alive and well. We jumped into our car and drove the four hours needed to reach our destination. Okay, we're going to the south part of the Sikul, 10 kilometers up to the deep mountains where the, all the nomad people, they stay. Or else we'll be listening to... <laughs> Off we go, Kyrgyzstan! <laughs> we never really stopped for anything except to admire the otherworldly landscapes surrounding us. You'll come to some parts of Kyrgyzstan where there's literally no one else around for miles, and it's just insanely beautiful. After driving through agricultural land, the road suddenly just ended. Then from a distance, Kabul Atta, just like a scene in Once Upon a Time in the West, on horseback, made his way towards us with his wild horse pack in tow. He pointed at a distance to where we'd be staying and we couldn't really see it at first. When suddenly, backed by an ice-capped mountain, we saw our opaque white yurt waiting for us. That was terrifying. Yeah, was, uh, Holy was shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> we have to do that at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So we're sleeping in a yurt tonight and Chip's uncle and aunt uh, were kind enough to let us stay here so it's going to be pretty cool. You help? These are our sleeping bags. Yo. What's up? Once we arrived we were automatically greeted by his wife, Raikan Apa, and fed some beautiful pastries, bread and local jams. Is all of this homemade also? Yeah, all homemade. Wow. It's a washing and cushion. Really good. It's fresh, you know. Mm. <laughs> Dude, this looks amazing. What are you so talking bad. about? It's a lot better. <laughs> okay, go I on. Live, I live on the edge. It's fresh so butter. oily, man. Really? <laughs> It's delicious? It's grainy. It's good. Really? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you like it, then... Yeah, I'll use that like cheese, bro. Yeah. Any day. Yeah. <laughs> mm. She told us that since we were guests, they wanted to prepare a feast for us. They led us towards a herd of sheep, chose one, and started preparing it.
While cutting the lamb, they were explaining the importance of each cut and how certain pieces were served in order of importance of their guests and their family. Yeah, it's a tradition, you know, like it's very important tradition for Kyrgyz people to properly uh, separate, give the meat to the correct person. Show respect. Yeah, show respect. It's good though, I think. It's important that tradition still lives on. This will be used for so many purposes, um, and they don't do it that often, so... We're just documenting something that's very natural. You finished that in like... 45 minutes? One yeah. hour? He said he had to go because he has to go right back to herding the sheep for the other villagers. Like, so hard working. She put everything in some boiling water fueled by dehydrated cow excrements and told us it would take about six hours to cook down. While waiting, I wandered off to climb one of the many hills surrounding us. So I'm going to go on top of a little hill there and try to get a beautiful 360 panoramic because um, it's too gorgeous not to go the extra effort and it sounds like a lot of fun and um, we're still boiling the lamb so that's going to take a long time. Mountains have always been a refuge for me providing you with a sense of safety from howling winds, yet making you understand your futility against the natural elements. A humbling experience every time. I made it as high as I could today. Uh, before the mountain starts climbing, <laughs> I'm out of breath. The wind blew off my hoodie because the wind was so strong. Ah, oh, got him lucky. Hey, what's up guys? So today we wanna make a prank on everyone with this snake. All right. We'll put it here somewhere. He's right now on the top of the hill. He's coming down. He's getting the shoots. So let's fly the drone to him. What's up guys? We're here at the top of the mountain and we're gonna fly a drone here in Kyrgyzstan. This is fermented mare's milk. That's a lot of kibbutz. Smoky, this one. I for one didn't know you could milk horses and it takes a lot of skill to do so. We could tell that Raikan Appa was being very careful to make sure she didn't get kicked by one of the horses. <laughs> so right after she milked all the mare, mares already, first of all, I had, I had no idea you could milk horses and drink the horse milk. It's so cool. And the only reason why their two front feet are tied is because there's no barriers or anything here. So it's to make sure that they don't run too far. Once collected, the milk is placed in a large vat in the yurt where the temperature is much hotter than the outdoors. Over a couple of days or weeks, science takes place. Through this fermentation process, the dairy is converted into lactic acid, ethanol, and carbon dioxide. The longer you keep it, the higher the alcoholic content. It also serves as a laxative, as we promptly discovered. Me too, I was walking around taking shots and I was just like, why do I need this shit so bad? <laughs> the kumis apparently has a massive lack. It, it, it makes you want to poo. And we asked, where do we go take where a shit? We, we have to climb the mountain. Not that big, this small one. Ah, I, thought, I thought you meant the big mountain. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Nick, what you do? All I do is I'll fuck that. Mmm, -hmm. that's a stronger flavor. It's nice. Don't eat my more. What you know now? So we've had the neck, we've had the kidneys. We're going through all the parts of the lamb. And I am so full. But I don't know how to say no. The bish parmak was so good. When you see the... <laughs> Kamis Coca-Cola. Oh, yum. This is really good. This is Kamis with the soup. That's special. Very special. Wait, where's the tripod? Shit, you shit this thing, man. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> 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 you guys are son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, so from a dining room, it's become our bedroom. Yep. Uh, it's like 9 p.m. We're gonna go to sleep. We're getting up at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Forever. Don't touch me. Super comfy bed one, no? Time to go to bed. 100%. So comfy, it's so cold. So it's about 6 a.m. I just woke up. Uh, filming this on my phone because it's way too cold to do anything else. That was one of the best sleeps I've ever had. Oh, it was so peaceful. Um, and now we're heading to the Nomad Games. Um, so see you guys at that next video. <laughs> hey guys, so as you know, this whole series was brought to you by Squarespace and I was so happy that they were on board for this because it was just a massive help in putting it together. And just to show you how easy Squarespace as a platform is to build a beautiful website, I'll be making a microsite where I'll be putting all the content from Kyrgyzstan, videos and photos included. That way there's just one link that you can direct yourself to if you want to learn about the country or eventually want to come visit this place. I've been using Squarespace for a while and what I love about it is that it has these beautiful award-winning design templates that are just really easy to use and if you're someone like me that doesn't necessarily have a very creative eye when it comes to building websites and just want to focus on content, then they do that for you because they have these great designs and great templates. Their customer service is really amazing as well and for me the best thing, I don't know if you've bought domains online before, it can be quite a kind of process because sometimes you buy it from someone who's buying it from someone else. At least in Squarespace it's really transparent and really straightforward. Finally, you can do all of that on one platform. There's nothing to install, nothing to patch. Everything is there for you right away, so it's really easy to build. Since you're finally ready to build your website, all you have to do is go to squarespace.com slash you'll get 10% off your first purchase and also a free trial.